King of the world, somewhere we can look around and find the road march king of the world. Where is he? Is he in the stand? Is he in the band? I can't hear you. Is he in the stand? Is he in the band? They're looking up on. Well, please look in that road march and see if you find the road march king of the world, Lord Kitchener. A fitting introduction to the man, the Lord Kitchener, live in the studio tonight on Calypso Showcase. Kitch, welcome to Calypso Showcase. Thank you. I'm happy to be here tonight. All right. Well, tonight's show is going to be a little bit different in the sense that we want to want you to look at tonight's show as a tribute to the man, the Grandmaster, the Lord Kitchener. And to give you an idea of the kind of repertoire that this man has, we've prepared a little special something for you, which we'd like you to look at now. Following Roberts, Lord Kitchen, popularly known as Kitch, and generally referred to as Master, and the road match king of the world. Well, when we look at his achievements, he was the Calypso monarch in 1975, the only year that he won, singing two popular tunes of the day, Fever and a tribute to Winston Spree. But when we look at his achievements in road marches, unofficially, he won in the year 1946 with Lai Fook Lee and 1954 with Mama Luka Band passing. But officially from 1963, such tunes as The Road, Mama This Is Mass, My Puss in 67, Miss Tourist, Margie, Mass in Madison, Rainorama, Tribute to Winston Spree, and in 1976, Flag Woman. Most importantly, from the inception of the Steel Band Panorama to this year, 1991, at least a single tune, and in many cases, more than one tune, has been played by Kitsch, starting in 63 with The Road, Mama, this is Mars, hold on to your man, my brother, your sister, 67, Marsican, Miss Tourist, Wrecker in 69, the Bull and Juve, 69, Margie, Suck It To Me, Play Mars, Mars in Madison, Miss Harriman, St. Thomas Gill, Rainorama, Jericho, 20 to 1, and in 1975, the ever popular tribute to Winston Squeeze Simon, of which seven of the eight bands in the final played his tune. Flagman and Pan and Harmony in 1976, Hazley Crawford, Pan in the 21st Century, The Dog, Miss Universe, and Jean the Netball Queen and No Pan in 1980. More Pan, Soka Jean, Pan Explosion, Heat, 50 Years of Steel, Symptoms, 200 Years of Mars, Tour Celsius, Sweet Pan, Pan Night and Day, Breakdance, Pan Here to Stay, 87 Pan in A Minor and Sexification, Pan in Me, Two to Go in 89, Iron Man in 90, and Pan Lingo Lay in 1991. A total of 46 tunes, all composed and sung by Kitsch. Fantastic. And, uh, did you know the for a fact that you had composed a tune for every year that there, there was a panorama? Well, um, no. <clears throat> I, I usually compose a tune every year for the pan, but it, it, it never dawned on me that there were so many tunes. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, we have discovered 46, but I'm sure that there were many bands that played in the preliminaries that had other tunes that you had composed within the year. So I dare say 
You maybe have been over 50 tunes that you've actually composed that have been used in Panorama over the years. Yes. And we're not even looking at some of your other achievements because you have composed a variety of other calypsos as well. Mm -hmm. Let's take a journey now to Renorama Palace. We want to start at the very beginning. When did it all start for you as far as Calypso is concerned? Well, I think by now, everybody knows. I started in 1937. That was in a Rima in the bamboo tent. That's right, <laughs> in the bamboo tent. What was the tune you sang that year? Oh, God, I can't, I can't remember those tunes in those days at all. But I remember in 1938, mm -hmm. you actually won the Arimo Borough competition, whatever it was that year. Oh, yeah, that was a song I composed about um, a doctor called Dr. Wopperman. Dr. Wopperman. Yes, but well, I don't remember the tune at all. <laughs> well, uh, I know I read somewhere that uh, one of the reasons why you don't remember your old tunes is you like to keep your mind clear for composing the, the new tunes that you have in your mind. Yes, I rather. I, I do this because I believe um, when you listen back to your old tune, you, you, you get your brain confused and you start composing things that you have composed before. I think it's, to me it's dangerous. So I'd rather not hear my old tunes at all. Now, early in your career, you made the decision that you're going to open your own Calypso tent, and I believe the name was the Original Young Brigade. Yes, that was in... Um, 46, that's right. No, 47. 47. 47. That was your first. And Pretender was there with you at the beginning? Yes. We both opened the tent together. What was uh, it like opening the tent for the first time and being involved the responsibility of running and managing a tent? Well, to be honest, it was frightening because we had to compete with the great Attila de Horn and, and Lion. And those two names were the real names in Calypso in those days. I was a bit worried about uh, of taking that chance, but the pretender told me once, it's okay, man, we, we will fight them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we, and then I, mean, I made up my mind and we, and we went through and everything was okay. No, again, I'm, I'm going by what I read, mm -hmm. but I, I understand that you, you started with a bang because that was the, the period of tunes like Taitong, Mopsy, Mount Olga, and such tunes. Yeah, that's right. I had, I had tongue busy in those years. Titan Mopsi, Mount Olga, Your Wife is My Wife, Chinese Never Had a VJD, <laughs> all, all those tunes. But before uh, that, in 1944, yeah. you composed your first tune for the pan. And yeah. very few people know that you have been writing tunes for the pan from as early as 1944. Tell us about that tune. Yes, the first Tilban tune ever composed was co composed by me in 1944. I, I can give a, a synopsis of... I would like to get a synopsis of that. I must get a synopsis of that. Well, you know, in those days, the steel bands were not playing any great sort of melodies. So I had to compose the tune to suit the, the, the type of music they were playing in those days. So let me just give a synopsis. <laughs> Well, I heard the beat of a steel band. Boys can't understand it was hard to make a distinction between Poland, Bar 20, and John John. Boom, bam, ba, do, ba, lam, boom, boom. Chum, bam, ba, lu, ba, lam, bo, be. Boom, bam, ba, lu, ba, lu, ba, lu, je, lu. Chum, bam, ba, lu, ba, lu, je. I was thinking, you must give me the second word. No, but well, I can't. <laughs> the, the, the names of the, the Bar John. Well, you had Ziggly. <clears throat> Sorry. Pops and Battersby, Ziggly. You had Black James, Fisher, and Barker. You had Big Eye. You had Ozzy, <laughs> the bass player. And all of that was mentioned in the tune. Yes, yeah, all mentioned in the tune. Very, very good. <clears throat> so the intention of composing tunes for the Pan Man was there early in your life? Early, 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 early. Very early. early. As we say, it's the first ever Pan tune composed in the history of Pan music. 1944, mm -hmm. by me. No. Early in your career, you left for England. Mm -hmm. What prompted that? Well, I happened to be very popular in those days. And a gentleman 
gave me a contract to go to Curacao and Aruba, beginning on myself. We went there, and after that contract, we went to Jamaica. Stayed a few months in Jamaica. And from there, I thought, well, I wouldn't come back to Trinidad. I went on, I went to England. What was life like in England? Well, at the beginning, it wasn't so rosy. It was very, very rough, because I remember I had a job in a, what you call a pub in, in England. In, in Trinidad, we call it a rum shop. And I went there singing. And when I sang the first verse, an Englishman came up and dragged away the mic for me and told me I'm singing nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> just, Probably not in that kind of word. Yes. But, um, and well, you, you know what happened eventually? I lost my job mm -hmm. because the, the customers always first. So I lost my job. Well, after this, I was walking the street of London. Some chap saw me and recognized me and said, Kish, what are you doing here? I said, well, I'm just walking around. Things are not so good. I said, well, there is a club called the, I can't remember that name now, the Sunset Club, where there's a Jamaican chap as the, as the organizer. Maybe you can get something there. And I went there. And I remember when I went there, I started singing this song, uh, Kiss Come Go To Bed. I really don't remember. <laughs> song, Kiss Come Go To Bed. That's the tune I remember as a kid. Yeah. Kiss Come Go To Bed. Yes. Kids come Go To, to Bed. bed. Uh, I got a small comb to scratch, scratch my head. head. <laughs> well, let me see if I can get a, a voice in this. <clears throat> <clears throat> that would be nice. <clears throat> Maybe I can remember a little voice in this tune. Mm -hmm. Ah, bonus, don't call me so. I don't like it. I want you to know. Ah, bonus, don't call me so. I don't like it. I want you to know. When you call me all this sweet name stupidness, then you leave me and you go on. I stop notice. Well, darling, you will give me misery. Well, hear this sweet name that burn is calling me. Kids, come go to bed. I got a small comb to scratch your head. Kids, don't make me cry. You know I love you when you play in chai. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. I mean, uh, that brings back real memory. Yes, yes, yes. Then I started the recording business. Mm -hmm. I started recording with um, melodies. That's when I. That's when I. I composed um, Nora. I don't remember this one at all. So I don't, sing it for you. you sing it Nora, Nora, Nora. <laughs> Let me try to get something. <laughs> You want to do anything in it? Yeah. Well, I can start with the chord. Nora, Nora, Nora. I beg you to leave the kitchen. Nora, Nora, Nora. The hell am I born to be Nora, Nora, Nora. Then what is your intention? Nora, Nora, Nora. I myself have trouble with the lyrics, but I remember the melody. Yes, 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 yes. Well, um, perhaps I can yeah. take you to the point where mm. most people don't remember your career mm. as in terms of their own position mm. when you came back to Trinidad in 63 mm. with the road. The road made to walk on Carnival Day. Correct. Which was the road march, okay. which was one of the tunes that was popularly played on the Steelers. In fact, most people think of 1963 mm -hmm. as the year you started to compose specifically for the pan. Yes, yes, that's right. Right? Mm -hmm. And we had the top pans of the day, like Desperados, Panam North Stars. In fact, the following year, I remember Hold On To Your Man, which is a tune I'm sure you must remember. Not and at all. Hold... I, I just remember the melody, but not Well, the you could give us a lala. La. Hold On To Your Man. Hold On To Your Man. That was a funny la, ba, tune. Da, ba, ba, la, da, di, di. That was a funny tune. You know, I composed so many tunes. I composed hundreds and hundreds of tunes. I can't remember these tunes. Yeah. No, Hold on to your man. You love me. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da,
I, I remember that time, man. It's, it's, it's a pity I don't remember those those lyrics and, and those tunes. Does Skitch have some magic secret formula that he puts chords together and he gets a melody, or is it an inspiration? No, it's what a, is it? Is it? It's an inspiration. It just comes to me natural. Mm -hmm. Whenever I want to, to, to compose a song, I tell my brain I want to compose a song. <laughs> and I tell my brain what I want to compose. And I go there, I walk in the street, and while I'm on the street, it comes to me. It comes to you. Yeah. And you've always had this fetish, this, this um, inclination to compose something for the band. And well, yes. over the years, you seem to be always able to come up with another one, just when everybody thinks that it's all over. Yes, I, 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 lo I love pan music, and I, 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 I seem to imagine carnival without pan is no carnival. So that inspires me to compose about the pan. And when you first wrote your first tune for the pan, the pan didn't have the range no. to, to express. No. Did you foresee that someday the pan is going to play music that is playing today? That's why I composed the song the, the way in which I, I, I composed it. Mm -hmm. if, if you listen to the, to the notes I made with my mouth, I was indicating that sooner or later the pan will be playing this type of music. I see. And I continue composing. Uh, Real good music for the pan. I went. I went on to compose tunes like Pan in Harmony, uh, Pan in Minor. All these wonderful tunes. <laughs> I remember or I read somewhere of about a tune called Green Fig. Could you tell me something about that tune? Well, that was my first inspiration in Calypso, Green Fig. I can't remember taking such a short time to compose a song as I did when I composed Green Fig. It, it's, 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 it's remarkable. It's, I don't understand it at all. This thing just came to me one day walking around the Arima market. And I just walk across to the paddock. And I composed the tune straight away. And it's funny, it's it to me like it that that, that that was sent for me because that is the song that brought me into Port of Spain mm -hmm. to compete with the big singers. So it, it like, like it was a gift came to me, and I composed this song. And when the people heard this song, they say that, that um, Bean, uh, my nickname in Arima was Bean. Mm -hmm. They say, Bean, you must go in tongue <laughs> with this song. And I went in tongue with this song. And I started making ruction straight away, plenty of ruction. When I went in town, the, the manager, by the name of Mr. Kang, he called me and asked me to do some singing in his tent, which was at that time Edward Street. When I sang Green Fig, well, my name was now Green Fig in Port of Spain. Everybody, Green Fig, Green Fig, Green Fig. And that's where I started. That's the song that started me out, Green Fig. By the way, how did you get the name Lord Kitchener? Well, that's... Now, I went to the tent. I think that was what, what year that was. I remember the year, but early 40s, yes. The old brigade tent. I went to the strike my hand like. And Tiger asked me, what is my name? I said, well, they, they call me the Arima champion. <laughs> you see? <laughs> He said that, well, from now on, your name is Lord Kitchener. And I think it's a, it's a wonderful name. I thank him for this name because this name, it's a name that, um, that you can sweeten. You know, instead of saying Kitchener, you say Kitch. It's, right. it's a romantic name. <laughs> it's, so I, 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 can, I can use it as an influence. <laughs> so 
And I love to hear people call me Kitsch too. It sounds sweet, lovely. Kitsch. Yeah. So even when you uh, sing it. Yeah, yeah. So when I sing it, I say Kitsch. Sometimes I say Kitsch. I'm kidding. So it was nice. I, I, I thank him for this name. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and tunes seem to be almost like given to you. Mm -hmm. And the one that I think stands out is Pan in Harmony. I think you yourself admit that you almost didn't know where that tune came from. Oh, that's what a wonderful tune. I don't, I don't remember the lyrics, but what a wonderful tune that is Pan in Harmony. I'd like us to go through the melody on that. The melody? Just so that we, we can it's refresh our minds as to the sweetness of that so tune. So this tune, it has symphony in it. It begins with symphony. I just don't know how it happened. But it begin, if you listen to the verse, it begins with symphony. It begins with symphony. Yeah, well, I, I, I don't think I could make tunes like that again, Pan and Harmony. But I, it's, I often wonder if many people um, remember Pan and Harmony. I, I, I believe they do, you know. But maybe it's because it's not maybe aired often yeah, enough, enough to remind them of the sweetness of that tune. And then there are other tunes like Pan in the 21st Century. Well, well that's clean out. I, I, don't remember, I don't remember the first note in that. So that's but clean out. But I remember it as being one of your outstanding tunes, but yes. because we don't hear it often you enough, it often. You, you forget it. Then there were tunes like, well, the immortal Rainorama. Yes, Rainorama. I myself don't, I don't remember Rainorama at all. Well, all I could remember <laughs> is, and they started jumping <laughs> around. <laughs> <laughs> because that was the, the time, yes. time that Carnival was Yeah, 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 just right. And it just, it just was the right tune. Right tune. Well, they moan and they shout and they say we want we fed and they groan and they shout and they say this is a threat yes they damn and they blast and they say we hope it's not true they won't dare to cancel we jump up 1972 mama when they hear they go get the carnival well it didn't yeah, if it was official but they start turning beasts on the street And they start to jump around yeah. And they start to tumble down yeah. And they fall down on the ground yeah. You can see how they go But when the world's so complicated It's the midst of Bacchanal 